Hi everyone, this week's video is on using Google Forms in your classroom to create polls or quizzes for your students. So starting from our Gmail, we're going to go up to the squares up at the top and we are going to come down to more. If you do not see forms in the application launcher, what you need to do is go to even more from Google and scroll down and up at the top you can even go all the way down to see all products and this will give you all the Google apps that are available and click on forms and here you should see uh, how to start using Google Forms in your account. So I already have this all taken care of so I'm going to go to Google Forms right now and show you some of the features that it has available to you. So Google Forms is a quick way to make polls or quizzes for your students. For instance, what I did is I polled my students on how often uh, do they practice at home. And what I did is I did, um, using the options here, I did one to two days, I did three to four days, I did five to seven days, and I did never, okay? And there are a couple of different input boxes here. You can put whatever you would like to, and this will give you a, a way to digitize quizzes. You can create polls, and there are ways to get feedback here from your students, and you can graph the feedback out using Google Sheets. And you can have um, more information than you normally would from paper tests and quizzes. So up in the upper left, I can name the form. I'm going to call it a test form. Okay. So under the response tab here, this is where you will see responses from your students once you get that. We don't have any responses yet. Um, we can add more questions. We can add a title and description. We can add images. We can link to YouTube videos, so you could have your students watch a video and answer the questions right after they watch it. And you can add other sections to your quizzes as well. Uh, you can even create a create your own adventure type of quiz or test where you have multiple pages of quizzes and depending on uh, what they answer, they go to different pages and it's really kind of a unique task. That's a little more advanced for what we're doing right now, um, but I'm just showing you the basics of this. Now, there is a send button where you're going to send this out to your students. We're not quite ready for that yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under settings now. Now, under respondents can, if you want them to be able to edit their answers, you can click this box. Since we're making a poll or a quiz and I don't want them to change their answers, I am, I'm going to leave that blank. If you want students to see the summary of responses, you can click that. I'm going to leave it blank as well. You can restrict it to Mariah Central School users or students. And you can even change the, the presentation uh, setup here so that if, you, if they want to submit another response, they can. You can show progress bars, so if you have more than one question, it'll show how far they have left to go before they are done. You can make this a quiz, and you can have it automatically graded, so you don't have to do this, and it'll go and it will sync with your Google Drive, making you save time in the long run once everything is set up. If you want to preview your quiz or poll, you hit the, the little eye up here in the top, you can click on that and you'll see what it looks like when your students open it up for the first time. What they'll do is they will have a title or whatever information you have provided and they will answer here and then they will click the submit button. Once they do that, all of your information will be um, available to you for use. You can change the, the colors, you can change anything that it... Uh, how anything on how it looks or uh, responds to the way students are, are answering. It's a really great tool to digitize some things on your classroom to, to help you save you time and to encourage your students to use technology in the classroom. When I'm ready to send this poll out, just like sharing 
documents or um, sharing files like we talked about in the last video in Google Docs, you can do this by email and you can email using students' emails. Now I'm not going to add any students here because this video is available online to anyone and I'm not going to include those informations. You can also share just by using a link, okay? So you can post a link and anyone who clicks on that will be able to take the poll or quiz. You can also embed it into things like Google Sites or Google Classroom. That's a little bit more advanced than what we're gonna do. We haven't talked about those yet. So once you send out this email information, you can put any information in here. Um, please take this quiz before Friday. And then you will hit the send button. Now what I wanna do, I've already done this with my students and I've created and shared this document here so that you see the, the quiz that I created and the responses that my students have, have taken, okay? And what I've got here is how often do you practice at home? Some students, uh, and students were encouraged to answer honestly uh, and, and that wasn't held against them by any means. And this was anony anonymously done. So some students never practiced at home. Some students practice one to two days a week and other students practice three to four days a week. And I was actually really surprised that this came out evenly <laughs> across. 33% students never practice at home, 33% students practice one to two days a week, and 33% spend a good portion of their week practicing at home. That's out of 12 responses. Now, not every student took the quiz. This was uh, something I asked them to do uh, for the fun of it. Um, so that they could help me with this video. And um, I, I appreciate all of my students who did do that. And it really uh, works out well because what you can do is you actually, once you take these quizzes, using Google Sheets, you will see that a spreadsheet is created with all the responses here and when the responses were giving, what time the students took their quiz, and the answer that they gave. And you can actually, using the more advanced features in Google Sheets, you can chart these however you want to, to see um, the things that you need to see. So Google Forms is really powerful. It is an excellent tool for online quizzes and taking polls, and I encourage you to use that in the classroom. Every student here in our district has available to them in the high school an email address where they can have access to it. So all students have access to Google Drive and the features with Google Apps. In the elementary school, I believe that most students in the later higher elementary grades have email addresses. And I will have to double check on that. But that's going to do it for now for Google Forms and how to use quizzes and polls in your classroom. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.